Okay, this is in Fort Myers, Florida. I decided to come back to a location or a, like a, basically to Martin Luther, sorry, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard um, because I wanted to make sure I knew which lights cycled and which ones don't. Um, I've already looked at these lights on camera. Uh, you can't see the light poles right now. I guess maybe you can see some of them. In the video, you can definitely see some of them. Um, so I'm not going to go there. Um, but I do want to see which orange ones cycle and, and basically confirm with you guys that some of these lights cycle and the other ones don't. Unless the other ones cycle very infrequently. Like right now... Oh, never mind. I was looking at the same light. I thought that's an aircraft. Never mind. Um, some of these lights cycle and they tend to be at intersections. Okay. That's something I've noticed here. I don't know if there is some kind of, I don't know, some kind of reason for that, technical reason or whatever. But it, when I was doing this, when I got the forum road, I noticed something that I did not see before. And that was these lights here that look somewhere like something between a mercury vapor light on camera or sometimes visibly when they're really green and also like a defective light. Actually, that is different than the other ones, guys right there there's also one that looks kind of greener i don't know if there's a reason for that or what now i actually kind of want to know so i'm going to walk over there and just take a look at it real quick since i don't think this could be trespassing i'm not going beyond the gate here so uh, on the left you can see a little creek um i don't know if these are important but they are shining up into the sky guys don't forget that not just on a tree like they can be seen up there from the air this is not a bad location for something with the view of people trying to leave to go that direction or if for some reason they want to go to Interstate 75, whatever. I'm not sure what kind of light they are, but they're, see, that's what it looks like. So I don't think that they're just LED lights. I don't know what you can see there, but that's what they look like when I turn it and put it right in front of it. Let's try it again on one of these shorter ones. I think it's one that's shorter. Oh, the shorter one is the purpler one or the bluer one. Okay, let's see. Actually, I could probably even get a better view of the thing. But it's so dang close, I don't know if it matters. Let's see if this one's like an LED panel light or something like that. Actually, it looks blue. Never mind, it can't be. I don't know what I was thinking. I was looking at the camera before, not at the light itself. So it's not. Yeah, that looks about like the same color it looks like. That's what it looks like. So yeah, anyway, there are one, two, three, four, at least of them that direction this is omni lane here just think of it as there are multiple people living here and this is like the last place where well there i guess there are two mansions or something like that at the next road before buckingham i think it's buckingham road that just keeps going straight east um although there are other neighborhoods east of that eventually but not for a while um so this i don't know this is kind of out there and I just noticed these lights, so. I have not explored further east. I kind of would like to, but I'm just trying to be conservative with my driving right now on my car, so, yeah. So there are those lights again on Omni Boulevard, Lex, uh, Lexington Palms, a luxury apartment area. Now going, westward we're gonna go over to forum boulevard these lights are out on both sides there's quite a swath of lights being out i want to point out though there are areas where the lights are on where they just don't there just seems to be no good reason to have them on not just these ones that are all right next to each other but others like other areas before you get to like colon where basically colonial boulevard is where this intersects with it 
All right, we're gonna go to Forum Boulevard, and if I see this thing cycle, I'll show you, but I've seen it cycle already a couple times while walking over here before starting this. By the way, that light just shut off. That's the one that cycles. I've got a little bit closer, but you should be able to judge that light, which is in the middle of the screen there. I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna pause this. Okay, I think this light's good. Oh, nice, this light's about to... about to turn on a little bit by the way uh, something that's kind of interesting is the sky does not look as bright on the horizon as it looks on camera here that looks like it could be twilight for example there it is but it actually doesn't look like twilight to me at all it just looks like some light coming up from the lights in the city So that, this one cycles, this is the third time I've seen this one cycle off of video, and I also saw it cycle on video when I was looking at the video from Colonial, or actually I should say, yeah, from Colonial Boulevard, no, actually I should say from Danny Drivens, Six Mile Cypress, over to uh, west of here. That video that I did, I don't know exactly precisely when I did it, maybe like three weeks ago or maybe two or three weeks ago. When I looked at that, I saw the cycling in that video also. There were some lights that I had wondered, like the one down there, whether that was a cycling light, even though it didn't seem to make sense, because it seems like the whole grid is off for these lights in this area. So I wanted to actually check, because if it was that way, that'd be really weird if that light was actually on. I'm gonna stop this. Okay, so I crossed. This is Forum again. That light that cycles actually is off now again. Um, the Parthenon wall looking things that I talked about in one of my videos. A different one where I went up Forum Boulevard here to here. Um, anyway, you might have noticed that light's on and that one's on sometimes that we just looked at. However, these other lights are off. So obviously they're on a different circuit. So just keep that in mind. It seems like, I don't know if it's the avenues and the streets, if they do that here. Yeah, I think some of them are avenues in their north and south. So, so I wondered anyway, like why this light over here was on, but I couldn't see it well enough in my video. It seemed like it might actually be like a cycling, like one of those lights that cycles. But it didn't seem to make sense unless just one of these lights was on, which would truly be weird. However, it's just an intersecting area. I also thought it would be really weird if it was at an intersection. But I, I didn't somehow see these real well. And I think it's kind of hard to see in the video. Because I think I'm turned, my attention's turned to the right. While I'm looking at how many lights are out in that video. To count them. So, this is actually an LED light, though. So now, now we know that, if you didn't know that. Because I didn't know that after looking at it a number of times. Just want to make sure that's clear. That's extra space storage to the left there. Um, this is, I think, Hoop, like Hoop Road or something like that. And then the next one to the left here, if we keep going at Martin Luther King Jr., if we keep going westward, will be Destination, I think. So, now that we can see this, looking back, let's see, oh, it's on again. See, it's cycling again. So the frequency of that cycling is not it's not as, uh, not as low as some of the lights around here. That's pretty, uh, that's a decent frequency there. I don't know what can be said of the frequencies of lights and how that might be important in a model where something um, uses those kinds of uh, features and different kinds of lights to decide where to, uh, patrol traffic at some point especially if that's in an evacuation which it kind of seems like it might be geared towards i'm not sure exactly how the mechanism would work um i'm not sure if they look like ufos if they would actually even have lights on them when they scan the city to look at these points if it's ai or something like that but um yeah frequencies are not all the same on these lights so it really looks like it's unintentional, but after looking at it for a while, I don't think that it's unintentional anyway. Even with these lights 
that shut off and turn back on again. I want to make that point. And when you look at the maps, I think you'll see what I see. I'm doing this video to make sure that we understand that some lights, if you keep looking at the videos, do cycle and the other ones don't seem to do that. To only pro to prove that the other ones don't cycle is ever is, well, I guess it's kind of a continuum of like how long I want to hold this camera and look at the light or not. But clearly these are still off over here, so that's not gonna be very useful here. But when I get to the other side, under that overpass there with uh, I-75, I want to actually look at those lights for a while and see which one cycle again. If you watch my other videos, you should know, um, at least one of them, that there might be a light that cycles on this side of Interstate 75, somewhere down there. And then after it, there should be one at the actual stoplight for I-75 South traffic. And then, um, then I think there, there might be one. I wanna actually clear this up. I wanna see if I can repeat what I saw. Um, at like, I think SR80 or something like that, like 80 Park Road or something like that. Uh, that one that goes to the two gas stations over there and the different equipment places. I wanna see if there's a cycling light there. So I'll check that out. There also are, there is a cycling light as like the second or third one this direction eastward from Ortiz across from the gas station, the racetrack gas station. Right next to it, there's also a cycling metal halide light serving the parking lot right next to it. So I don't think that's a coincidence. And the, especially the location, I think that's kind of a good location for something like that as a contingency. All right, so I'm gonna pause this. Okay, so now we're at Destination Drive in SR82, which is also Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard. Got like a gas station and stuff here, 7-Eleven. I'm gonna continue eastward here, or westward, I'm sorry. Okay, so I've walked a little bit further. There is a gas station there with lights that change color there. For some reason gas station, or, um, Car washes tend to do that these days, I don't know why. All right, so I'm gonna pause this. By the way, these lights that we see here, on my map actually, which actually I haven't put out yet, I put them in like hex, hex, like hexagons of lights. Actually, they're actually just quartets of lights. I think actually, I think there's four of them on each of these. I do that because it's actually a little easier to see what they are as a little circle. Um, but that's what these are. These are the really tall lights. They're not like these lights in the foreground, in the background. Those are a lot taller. I don't know how many feet high, like 75 or 100 feet or something like that. There's another group of them, another group of them, and another one. These all seem to be functional in this location. So the, there is illumination on the street over here. But over there somewhere I could see a cycling light, at least from where it says next signal is this road or whatever it was again. Um, I think it says uh, Naples and Tampa on that sign. From that sign I could see something over here that cycled in that video. So I came back here to also see this one. So I'm gonna pause this. Okay, I went back to Forum Road because I want to do a U-turn. I didn't want to keep my car parked. Notice you can't take a left there, but there is a green arrow anyway. I don't know, guys. You gotta really wonder why they do that, too. I mean, might as well disadvantage drunk drivers anyway, right? If it's a single car kind of event, right? I guess, maybe. But it should be in the shape of a U or something. Maybe I don't have one that looks like that. Okay, I decided I didn't want my car to get towed and just in the event that I left it at that gas station too long as I walked around. And I wanted to walk because I wanted to take my time because um, I was gonna actually walk over here too and look at the lights, taking my time to see which ones cycle and which ones don't. But then I decided, you know what? My car had been there for like an hour at least and I don't want it to get towed, so. 
I am going to park at the gas stations over here and we're going to take a look and see what light cycle. I don't see any light cycle.